Amen. Forgiveness sets you free. You stop living in the pain of yesterday. Stop living in the prison of the past. Joseph told them, he said, what you did, you meant for evil. But God turned it for good. If you didn't sell me to slavery, I would not be here. You thought you were doing me evil. You thought it was good riddance to bad rubbish. But God was sending me ahead to preserve. If Joseph was not in Egypt, there would have been no Messiah. Because Jacob and his descendants would have all died in the famine. So some of you, that pain that they cost you, that money that they stole from you, some of you were defrauded. But all those things happened because it was an occasion to create a miracle in your life. And that's why we need to let go this night. A lot of unforgiveness in church. A lot of people harboring all kinds of things in their mind. All kinds of beef everywhere. And we pray year in, year out. And we wonder why the prayers don't seem to make or hit deliberate marks in the spirit. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. God is going to purge us this night. My prayer is that after all this shouting, somebody will not leave this service with their heart the way it is. Some of you need to go back and forgive the people of your childhood. Some of you were abused verbally, physically. Some of you lived with relatives who kept abusing you physically. They kept telling you you will not amount to anything good. They inflicted so much injury on your mind. And now you have grown up. You are a nice person, but you are bitter to others. Let go. And be free.